Imagine it's 11 p.m. Yeah, I used to work that late every day in investment banking. And if you're watching this, then you probably are too. And you just got handed this disgusting load of raw Excel data. I need to turn it into a working formatted Excel sheet before leaving for the day. Are you going to waste the last fleeting moments of your day click, click, clicking away? No, you're going to toss that mouse and use the greatest Excel shortcut of all time. One that can copy and paste format, formulas, and values independently. The key superstar shortcut here is Alt-E-S, or I like to call it Copy Pasta Special. Let's jump right into a demo to show you just how powerful the Alt-E-S shortcut really is. Before we begin, let's trap the mouse with cheese in cell A1. First thing we'll want to do is center the income statement line item so it looks nice, applying the same format to the subtitle. I also want to add a row in between years ended. I'm grabbing the format, applying it to years ended, underlining it. The date here is not being shown correctly. I wanted to show month as well as year. Center it, underlining it, grabbing the format, pasting it across. Numbers are as well. I want to make it very clear, positives as well as negatives and zeros. I'm setting a predefined format for numbers, taking that format, applying across all numbers on the sheet. I want to add some flair to the total line item. I'm going to put some borders, bold, fill color, change the formula, paste that formula right across, check it. The cost of goods sold section should be the same as the revenue section. So I'm going to take that format, paste it in, fix the formula at the bottom, take that formula, paste it right across. I want to add a new line item called gross margin. So I'm grabbing the format, pasting it at the bottom. Gross margin is going to equal to revenue plus cost of goods sold. I'm going to take that formula, paste it right across. Operating expense, same thing. Take the format at the top, paste it at the bottom, fix the formula, take that formula, drag it right across, check to make sure it's correct. Last item I want to add is called operating income. Operating income is going to equal to gross margin plus operating expense. I'm going to take that formula and then drag it right across to the bottom. Check it. We just need to fix the net income now, which is equal to operating income plus everything in between. I'm going to take that formula, paste it right across, check it, fix the column width. We're done and back to A1. What you saw on this demo is usually accessed by the mere mortals through this button but we never, ever use the mouse to click on the forbidden ribbon here. We're better than that. Instead, we use Alt-E-S, or formerly called Paste Special, which can save you a ton of steps and speed up your repetitive work because it's literally the Swiss Army knife of Excel. Let's go over the most common things you can do with this shortcut. The easiest way to see the power of pasting formats using Alt-E-S is through formatting numbers. Here the numbers are not formatted the way I want them to be. I want the positives, negatives, and zeros to show clearly. First I'm going to grab the predefined number format I want and apply it to one cell, say cell C8. Now I want to copy using Ctrl C, but instead of pasting using Ctrl V, I'll be using Alt-E-S-T Enter and paste only the number format across the entire revenue section. As you can see, none of the values in each cell has changed, only the formats. Let's go over it slowly again. I'm first pressing Ctrl C, highlighting all the cells I want to format, and then I'm gonna be pressing Alt, E, S, T for formats, Enter, one after the other. I'm not holding the keys down at the same time. What's great is that I can even paste the format for an entire block of cells. Here I'm going to format the revenue section quickly. I can then highlight the entire revenue section and paste only the format in the cost of goods sold section. I'm using Alt E S T Enter. However, what you need to watch out for is if the sections aren't the exact same size, Excel is not that smart, at least not yet. For example, copying the format to the operating expense section here doesn't work because the sections aren't the same size and your format will be messed up. This shortcut will completely replace the infamous format painter. My God, you can't imagine the times where I've seen a new hire go click, click, click with the paintbrush. 
Stop painting, you're not Picasso. Anyways, moving on. So building off our previous example, we're gonna create a new row called gross margin, which for all you accountants out there know is revenue minus cost of goods sold. As we just learned, we can easily copy and paste formats like this. I'm then gonna name this row gross margin and put the correct formula in cell C17. However, I wanna paste the same formula across the entire row, so I'm gonna copy the formula, highlight where I want to paste the formula, and press Alt E S F for formula only, plus enter. Now a lot of you will be asking why I didn't just copy and paste the entire cell across the row with Control V. The reason is because a lot of times you will have cells that are formatted differently. For example, let's say the cell at the end was highlighted yellow. If you just pasted it across with Control V, you would overwrite everything in that cell. Instead, you can use Alt ESF Enter to copy just the formula across and preserve all the formats. Continuing on our previous example, we're going to see how you can paste values only in Excel. Let's say you wanted to change a bunch of inputs on top, but still keep the original gross margin output to compare against the new gross margin. If you were to copy paste the gross margin line with Control V, you would not get what you wanted since it would simply copy the formula down one row. You can copy and hit Alt E S V for values, enter, and paste the value only in the row below. Now you can change some inputs on the top, which will flow all the way down to gross margin and compare it against our original pasted gross margin value. Paste column width is especially useful when you want to standardize a bunch of columns to the same width. In our example, the dates are not properly formatted, so I'm first going to format them to show date, month, and year. And then paste that format across the entire row as previously shown. As you can see, you get a bunch of hash symbols because the date now exceeds the column width. Well, I can fix the column width for one by auto-adjusting it to show everything. And then copying the column width, I can hit Alt E S W for column width plus enter to carry over the exact same column width of the cells I want without affecting the format, value, or formula in that cell. As an added tip, you can also copy over multiple different column widths. For example, let's say I wanted to copy over the column widths of B to G from this other tab I have. I can copy it and then go back to my original tab and paste in the same widths for columns B to G. This one might blow some of you away, so let's just get right into it. Let's say you wanted to convert everything on this sheet from thousands to millions. Well, the caveman way would be to go into each cell and add a decimal place. However, instead, you can write the number you want to divide each cell by. For us, it would be a thousand to go from thousands to millions. And then copy and hit Alt E S I for divide plus enter across all the cells you want to divide it by. You can see that everything now is in millions instead of thousands. And the thousand I used to divide everything by is not linked, so you can delete that cell right after. And it's not just divide. You can also add, subtract, multiply, and it works with any number. Let's say for some mysterious reason I wanted to add one to each cell. Well, I just type out one, copy it, and hit Alt E S D for add, plus enter, and voila, I added one to each cell. You should think of transpose as really rows become columns and columns become rows. For example, if I wanted my dates and revenue section to become vertical instead of horizontal, I would copy the area I want to flip and hit Alt E S E for transpose plus enter. As you can see, rows have become columns and columns have become rows. It's as simple as that. Alt ES is so powerful because you can do any combos of the paste specials above and exponentially increase your speed at work. For example, I need to flip this row but only paste the values. I can go Alt E S V E Enter. Boom! All done with one stroke of the hand. And you only need to remember Alt E S because if you ever really forget any of the paste specials you want, you can hit Alt E S and look at the letter underlined in the action you want to do. For example, F is underlined to paste formulas only, V is underlined to paste values, T is underlined to paste formats, etc, etc. You get the point. You can have fun with all the other operations listed here, but what I've shown you are the most common ones being used. 
So to recap with Alt ES or what I call Copy Pasta Special, you can selectively paste formulas, values, formats, column widths, and do some quick maths all independently. I remember when I first showed my poor intern this shortcut halfway into his internship, he almost cried. He was spending countless nights click click clicking away. Well, I think that's enough no mouse excel for this video. My goal with each video is not to teach you useless excel shortcuts, but the finesse and the techniques to master excel. To become one with excel, so you can waste less time at work and focus on what really matters in your life. Join me next time as I show you how to dominate rows and columns at blazing warp speed. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and PS, you can actually do that without a mouse too, but I'll show you that another day.